Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary, and I'm here today with one of our new pre-owned pieces of inventory. This is a 2011 Cayenne S, uh, and it's really nice to see uh, one in this vintage. We don't see them very often, so, um, you know, it's just old enough to now be at a really, really good value. But because it's a 2011, it's the first year of the second generation of the Cayenne, internally referred to as the E2 uh, generation. So it's kind of as old as you can get uh, while still looking only a couple of years old because this generation carried through with only really subtle changes up until the 2018 model year. So it's, it's a great way to, uh, to have, you know, some still pretty modern technology for a whole lot less. So this one, as I said, 2011, it's got about 148,000 kilometers, uh, and it is as well the Cayenne S. So it's not the base model, it is the S, that means you get 400 horsepower, uh, and in these uh, early E2 Cayennes, uh, they use the V8, the 4.8 liter V8, so naturally aspirated, 400 horsepower, sounds great, it makes really, really good power. Um, so this guy in particular though, it is uh, classic silver metallic outside which is obviously a great color uh, holds up well to scratches and dirt and stuff you just don't see it as much on the silvers as you do on the darker colors uh, wheels these are the 20 inch RS spider wheel uh, and lately we've seen it's hard to sell anything that's got anything less than the 20 inch wheel but back in 2011 it was a lot less common so nice to see an older one with actually the big wheels it definitely does add a little bit more uh, kind of curb appeal to uh, to the car um, some other content that's on this one we have uh, front and rear parking sensors. We also have the 14-way adjustable seat, so you gain the thigh extension and the lumbar support with that over the standard eight-way seat. Uh, it's also uh, heated seats and ventilated seats. You've got the heated and multifunction steering wheel, which I really like. I find uh, the heated steering wheel is something that once you've had it, uh, it's really hard to go without. So nice nice to see that on uh, on the older ones as well. Uh, they also option on this one the larger fuel tank. So this one has a 100-liter tank, which is great if you're going to do longer drives. You don't have to stop as often, uh, and it's just you know, you wouldn't think it has a big impact, but those who select it tend to really appreciate having that, that extra range in the tank. Um, some other stuff here, uh, it does have the Porsche navigation as well as the Bose audio and uh, the PASM or Porsche active suspension management. So you've got the uh, buttons in there. You can switch from a, more, a softer ride to, uh, to a firmer one. Uh, and it does make a pretty considerable difference. Uh, as well, we have satellite radio, which you didn't see on, on so many of these. Um, and then uh, a little bit into its history, uh, it was originally purchased in the US, but only very briefly. And then it was brought to Alberta virtually right away, I think within a couple of months. Uh, it has no claims or anything, so it's got a nice clean history. Um, um, and then in terms of some of the stuff that we did to it. So everything that we bring in uh, will go through our inspection reconditioning process and we'll you know, bring it up to a pretty high standard. So um, this car needed a couple of things, nothing too dramatic, but it needed uh, the front brakes done. So it has new pads and rotors up front. Uh, the rear was not required. There's quite a bit of left, life left still on, on the rears as well. The tires are all almost brand new. So that was good to see. Uh, what else did we do here? Oh, the, the heated seats were having an issue. So we, we repaired that. Um, and what else do we do? A wheel alignment and uh, one of the cornering lights. Another option I didn't mention is this has the PDLS or Porsche dynamic lighting system. So the headlights will turn with the steering wheel. Um, one of those bulbs was uh, was out. We replaced that. So the car is really in, in really good shape now. It's held up quite well. And as I say, just a great value to get into this body style of Cayenne and with the V8 with the 400 horsepower uh, without spending too much. So it's great either as kind of an entryway into the brand, or if you've got some Porsches at home but want something that maybe doesn't cost as much, uh, that you can maybe have as a winter car or something like that, but you still want to have that Porsche in the garage, great opportunity for that as well. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, come down, pay us a visit, see it in person, and, uh, and take it for a spin. Thanks a lot for watching.